Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, and today on the table, we've got something very, very cool. This is the Artisan Blowback with their new recoil lock. And I am all about this knife. I really am. Uh, let's take a look at what you get. Uh, this one happens to be in really beautiful Artisan Damascus, but they will be in S35VN or likely in 390, one of those two. That's what they do with their titanium knives. You get an all titanium build with an okay pocket clip. We'll talk about that in a, min in a minute. You get a f just beyond the beautiful Damascus. Look at this clip point. This is a beautiful blade. <laughs> I mean, it is really lovely and the shape of it is oh god it's it's really good and it's great to use i have been carrying this now for about a week and um this is just a really excellent user pocket knife now its standout feature is this the recoil lock it is a little bit like an access lock and yet it is a completely unique design it runs across the top here it has a pinch on both sides so you just pinch it and close it you flip it when it opens, you have no problems that way. You can, in fact, oops, ah! flip it open if you pull the lock back a little bit out of the way. You can also close it by just grabbing a hold back here. Look, this is a knife with multiple deployments. You can flick it. Oh, come on now. You know what? It's been a really long day. <laughs> uh, you know... Uh, the COVID-19 stay-at-home thing, I support it. I understand the science behind it. And that doesn't mean I'm not 100% sick of it. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Anyway. The blowback has what I think is a beautiful design. It is a lovely looking knife. It also has this new locking mechanism, which is both very secure, very secure, and fun to activate, actuate, which is great. I love a knife with good fidget factor, and this thing is absolutely that. It is a user with a really interesting style. Now, I wouldn't ordinarily want one in Damascus. That's not really my thing, but that is what Artisan had to loan us at this time. Uh, these are only recently finished in production, and they are only... If they're not on the market yet, they will be very shortly. Let's take a look at what you get dimensionally, now that we've talked about the cool recoil lock. God, I love that. It is so much fun. <laughs> you get one, two, three full inches of cutting on one, two, three, just three and three quarters inches of, in this case, Damascus. You get this beautiful, as I've mentioned, clip point with this fuller that runs the length of the blade. That is just awesome. The grip area from just behind the flipper tab is one, two, three, four full inches plus a little bit. It's four inches to this little step right here. The choil up here, which is more of a sharpening choil than a finger choil, but because of this design, there's plenty of room to get your finger up here for fine close work. And the tip on this thing, it's a nice thick blade, but the tip on this thing is absolutely great for puncture and then cuts, for puncture cuts. I've used this thing to cut up cardboard and some tape and paper and some other things around the house. And it has been just a joy to use and carry. The pocket clip, which we're gonna talk about that again in a sec where it is, but it is totally reversible. There's a space here, much like on this side, this little bit of cutout to hold the clip. And because it is a completely ambidextrous lock, this is a fully lefty, righty friendly knife. Left-handers, no problem. Right-handers, no problem. This knife is designed and built for both left and right hand. And that is very cool. Now the pocket clip. Well, I guess there's always gotta be a little give. In this case, the little bit of give is here. It is not what I would call deep carry. A fair amount of this knife sticks out of the pocket. Um, eh, it's not my favorite thing. It's not a deal breaker. And the clip is very nice. It has good spring, good ramp, 
And because there's a cutout on this side, uh, a fair amount of room for material, even though it is very low profile. That is very nice. It has a lanyard hole milled right into the scales, which I think is just gorgeous. I mean, excuse me, milled into the backspacer. <laughs> Ooh, hey, look at me go. But as you can see, there's plenty of room for a large lanyard if you lanyard, and I don't, but that's okay. It has a very nice aesthetic closed. And an even better one open. This is a beautiful knife. It really is. The knife, an overall length, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half inches long, which means it is very similar in length. In fact, identical in length to our friend the Rat Model 1 here. It will also be very similar in length to our friend the uh, Spyderco PM2. Uh, it is a little bit it's an eighth of an inch longer. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah it's an eighth of an inch longer. Um, but you get very similar cutting area on these knives. So these take up very similar space in the pocket and blade to handle ratio, cutting surface. Uh, they're very, very similar. Here it is against the bug out, just for fun. And as you can see, it's a much larger knife than the bug out, but it's fun carry and a fun use too. Let's go ahead and measure out that blade stock so that we know what we're talking about. If I grab it at its thickest point right here, it is 3.7 millimeters, which is a really good thickness. Uh, I'm not going to do behind the edge because my hands, I just can't do that, you guys. I always screw it up. But it is very, very slicey behind the edge right here. They've done a marvelous job. At its thickest, it's a reasonably, it's kind of a stout knife actually through the middle here. We are looking at almost a full half inch, 4.8. So 0.48 of an inch, um, which is not bad. I like artisans. I have a ton of them. I've had a ton of them. Um, this to me is a standout in their recent offerings. I love that they've tried something new with this locking mechanism. I think that it is interesting. I think that it is reliable. I think that it is fun. And I think that they're going to produce more knives with this on there. If At least I hope they are. <laughs> Let's weigh it just to see where it lands. Now, there is no milling on the inside of these Thai scales, which tells me that this is not going to be a lightweight. There we go. My scale was giving me a hard time. There we go. Yep, 4.8 ounces um, for three and a half inches of cutting. It's not a lightweight. Uh, but that's okay. It carries very well. And in the end, that's sort of what matters. Now, I know some of you are going to say, no, no, it's all about weight. But if weight is what you're worried about, you know, then you do something like this. You get yourself a PM3 lightweight or you get yourself one of these bailouts. These are knives designed strictly to be light that also cut. You, of course, you can get lots of weight. You know, stuttering is fun. You can get lots of knives that focus on weight and then function. But if that's not what you're after, if you're after something with style, with what I think is a pretty high cool factor and a really excellent design, well, then the Artisan Blowback with its new recoil lock system is absolutely something you should look at. I know, I'm glad I've had a chance. Now this one's gonna have to go back to Artisan. Uh, I will probably buy one of these. In fact, I guarantee you I'm going to buy one of these, but I'm going to wait until I can get it in whatever the other blade steel is, uh, as I'm just not a huge fan of Damascus overall, you know, generally speaking for my collection. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the blowback with the new recoil lock. I have been a therapeutic edge. If you have any questions about this artisan or any of the knives you've seen on the table, feel free to ask in the comments below. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care.